And where you're heading here is towards ever-growing state. This is statism. This is statism yep. is applied to all these different okay. factions, and it's and it's a rejection of what makes America special. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's this multiculturalism. It's this egalitarian notion brought to international affairs, but also to domestic affairs. There's there's a whole sense in all these things of making everybody the same. Treating right. everybody as a group, right? You know, no well, individuals. Well, taking care of them. Where's the? Um, here's the other copy of this one is highlighted. I, I absolutely love this. Um, when they talk about in in Ayn Rand um, in Atlas Shrugged, she talks about how um, you know they're going to regulate the railroad, and these all these people in the are just nincompoops. All of the people in Congress and all the politicians are just ridiculously stupid, and they all seem like they're Barney Frank. Um, it says, uh, it says here, I, I say, uh, are your railroads safe? Kip Ch uh, Chalmers uh, says, hell yes, we've got so many rules, regulations, and controls that those bastards wouldn't dare not to be safe. That's yeah. the kind of thinking that they have in Washington. That's, oh. what, that's what's happening with BP. I, absolutely, it's what's happening with BP. The idea is that if government regulates it, then it must be okay. And then when something goes wrong, what's the response of government right now? Freedom's uh, failed. It has to, well, freedom's failed, and you have to fix it. They have no clue how to fix it. They have no clue what it would require to fix it, the kind of mental effort, the kind of integration, the kind of reason required to fix the problem that BTP is creating. Just fix it, because to them, knowledge is insignificant. Uh, you know, actual work out there in reality is insignificant. They just want their emotions and their thoughts to just come to reality like that. They're complete whim worshippers. I, I, I think it gets down to they will do whatever they have to do to keep their job to stay elected, to get reelected, for their party to stay in party in power, for their party to get back into power. And they make a lot of deals with their own conscience. I'll just I'll just I'll say this now so I can get reelected and then I'll fix social security or then I'll do X, Y, and Z. And it, it just keeps working against themselves. And now they've dug themselves such a hole that it, it's not gonna work. People you know they always ask, why do these books work? Well my heroes are the men and women of the military, CIA, FBI, stuff like that, and the villains are terrorists and politicians. But you know what? I think it goes further than that because, I mean, quite honestly, I mean, if I were here, I'd say, okay, I don't, it's like Tom Clancy. I don't need to know exactly how the rail system works. There's a lot in here, but there's, but th what happens in this is what's missing in society. Common sense. But it's it, just, yeah. it's common sense. Back it's, in just a second. Sorry.